Welcome to part two of maintaining authenticity in the Google Classroom. Remember that the videos that I have here, you can access the whole entire presentation without my audio on the link that I have on my website where I have um, a self-paid guide that allows you to click on all the tutorial videos as well as all the videos and slides that I use for the presentation are also included there. I am going to add the website at the bottom of my YouTube channels so that you have access to all that information as well. Okay, moving forward. Game-based game learning. And we talked about game-based learning when I mentioned um, Tinker and how to create a lesson with Tinker, how to push out your lesson with Tinker. Now, game-based learning platforms can be very powerful and effective tool for education as they can engage and motivate students while helping them learn and practice new skills and knowledge. These platforms often use game mechanics and elements such as rewards, points, competitions to create an engaging and immense learning experience. In addition, game-based learning platforms can be flexible and adaptable, allowing students to progress at their own pace and encourage exploration and experimentation. These are game sites such as Kahoot, Classcraft, Gamification, which has a bunch of different math games, science and social studies games, Code.org, which I utilize that to teach our code every single year, as well as after they learn the basic fundamentals of, of coding each year, I allow some of the students to continue using some of the puzzles when they have free time once they've completed their work. Prodigy, students love Prodigy for math. And I believe Prodigy is launching its new features in language arts. And last but not least, Minecraft, one of my ultimate favorites. And I'll explain to you just why. Okay, in this particular video that I have, right? And I'm gonna go ahead and set it up. This particular video, one of my students um, created uh, a cell project utilizing Minecraft. So with Minecraft, you can teach so many concepts and have them create models using um, some of the different bricks that they can put together the models for. Okay, let's move to a different example. Another component of tools out there is virtual lab simulations. These are very valuable resources for students to enhance their learning and understanding of the scientific concepts. These interactive and engaging tools allow students to perform experiments and explore scientific concepts in a safe and controlled environment without the need of expensive and potential hazardous equipment. With virtual lab simulations, students can practice and reinforce their skills and knowledge, make mistakes and learn from them, and better yet, they can have these tools at home they could be hyperlinked to your Google Classroom. Um, a lot of the different companies allowed for free uh, trial periods for teachers. So if your school does not have the funding for it, you can sign up for a free virtual um, license and then teach it. And then they can go back and utilize some of the tools that they have in the classroom, uh, such as the Google Classroom tools. Uh, not Google Classroom tools, I'm sorry, any other Google components that they can build projects around what they've learned conducting these virtual labs as a whole. Project-based learning platforms. Now, project-based learning um, is an educational approach that involves students in real-world or authentic tasks and problems, often involving collaboration and creativity. The type of learning can be an effective and engaging way for students to learn and practice new skills and knowledge. Project-based learning allows students to apply their learning to authentic and meaningful tasks rather than just memorizing facts and concepts. This approach helps students develop critical thinking and problem-solving skills as well as learn how to work effect effectively with others. Now, project-based learning tools include collaboration writing tools, video conferencing tools, presentation tools, digital media tools, mind mapping tools, and virtual field trips. Now with the mind mapping tools, I am going to also include on my website um, a link to Google 
uh, maps that I've created to teach thinking and you can make a copy of them for yourselves and utilize them in your classroom. The great thing about this is when you um, showcase a given map and how you're going to utilize it, now you can push it out to your class and they can turn their completed maps in. Um, and then one of my ultimate favorite discoveries I'm going to show you right now and um, how to get to this particular website and what wonders it could do with project-based learning and its application. Now this particular app is called GoPangea and teachers can assign a question and then students all around the world can chime in to that given question. Or you can read some of the questions that other teachers around the world have posted. I'll take a look at this one. What is your favorite ocean mammal? What does it look like? How can we protect the ocean? Real life problems. And now we're getting feedbacks from different students out there that have answered um, this particular question and included their pictures. So this is definitely one of those apps that allows you to um, integrate um, your prior knowledge and engage your students understanding the world around them by communicating with students all around and teachers all over and seeing what their favorite animals are. And you can see this is from the UK, students from Norway, um, Nigeria. So students all over the world engage in this particular um, project and I'm going to go ahead and hit the back button because as you can see right here I can filter the questions by language by age and I can also create a question of my own okay so I'm going to go ahead and pause for now so I can jump back to my nearby um, so I can continue the presentation but this is just another way of project-based learning platforms out there that are incredible resources for your students and for many teachers out there. Case-based learning platforms. Now for case-based learning platforms, um, you have like Case Western Reserve University School of Law, Case Studies on Science, um, Case Studies in Education. These are different ways that students can research different studies to learn from them. Now this will be more applicable for um, students in upper school um, or in ninth through 12th grade scenarios. However, you can go through it to see maybe different case studies in engineering and if you're doing something with STEM and you can pull from there. Now, case-based learning can be engaging and interactive ways for young children to learn as it allows them to explore and think about different possibilities and outcomes. In addition, case-based learning can be flexible and adaptable, allowing kids to progress at their own pace, encouraging exploration and experimentation. Overall, case-based learning can be a value resource for educations or educators looking to engage and motivate young children and helping them develop important skills and knowledge backgrounds. As I come to the end of our presentation, I want to emphasize on the importance of adaptation of a multifaceted approach to assessment in order to effectively prepare students for the challenges they will encounter in their personal and professional lives. While traditional assessment methods such as final exams can be useful for evaluating students' ability to remember and recall information, they don't necessarily provide a comprehensive understanding of students' cognitive abilities or skill set. Alternative assessments approaches like projects, projects, real world situations can offer more interactive and experiential ways of engaging with course material potential and motivating a deeper understanding of the subject matter and the development of higher order thinking skills. By taking into account the diverse range of skills and abilities that students possess, educators can effectively gauge students learning and facilitate the development of competency skills. Thank you for your attention and I hope you like this information and don't forget my link to my website with the actual videos that I zoomed through on this presentation will also be included there as well.